we have today Liana Vinersan from Coding a Story alongside us. Hello, Liana. Hello. Uh, please tell us a little bit about uh, the project you are developing. I wrote a book to teach children uh, algorithms through a story. Uh, they learn uh, to design uh, the diagram of a story similar to the diagram of an algorithm. I know that you recently went through a crowdfunding uh, campaign. How did that yeah. go? Why did you choose to, to fund your story through a crowdfunding? I chose uh, crowdfunding because I think uh, this is a good way to uh, promote my pro product, to make it uh, visible to both uh, potential customers and uh, collaborators. And um, I think that potential customers um, like to be uh, in the making <laughs> of the product. It was a success, I can say. I saw that uh, the amount of money you managed to, to source was way b beyond uh, what you initially went for. Yes, uh, I also set a stretch goal. I wrote another um, book, a workbook, uh, for uh, all people who um, supported my com campaign. Uh, they will get this, uh, this book for free, no, included. And, um, Yes, it was, uh, I can say it was a, a success, and, uh, but uh, still I had to do a lot of um, marketing and um, yeah, a lot of work to make um, this uh, campaign uh, known to people. Why is um, education important for you? I think education is uh, fundamental, uh, it's the basis of uh, everything. Uh, it's already a cliche to say that uh, more and more uh, um, jobs will change in the future and more and more engineers will be needed but uh, this doesn't make it uh, less true. Technology skills in this area uh, will become uh, fundamental skills. Where did you get the idea from? Last year um, I, I had an idea I wanted to teach children coding concepts uh, without screens and um, I started uh, looking online for materials that could help me ex explain different concepts and I found a few but still I had something else in mind so um, I did I made my own materials at, at first there was uh, only a story and um, a few images I, I found an illustrator and a few images uh, that uh, children um, should uh, arrange in order, like a diagram. And we were using this story on the paper, but the story was pretty rough, so not very artistic. <laughs> and um, uh, we were using this and making uh, uh, diagrams for, for it. And, and then I thought, wow, this is, this is a new thing, this is interesting, maybe I can make it a product then that uh, other teachers can use or parents but mm -hmm. okay so i can write a book um for for children and i um uh, i found someone uh, a native english speaker who uh, corrected my story and made it sound uh, uh, better and uh, added a rhyme to, to it and um, then I get into um, self-publishing and everything about books I read a lot about this and and I, I transpose it into a into a book and yeah then I thought I could make other things and so on I think you mentioned at some point um you were planning to develop some uh, digital tools also. What yes. are uh, the next steps for, for the project? What are your <coughs> next plans? Uh, I hope this will become a book series, Coding a Story. And uh, this is the, the first book about algorithms. Um, um, for this uh, subject, I'm now creating workbooks for specific concepts in algorithms, like uh, logical operators, loops, for now and uh, uh, others. These uh, are um, digital products I'm selling on my uh, website and <clears throat> after um, 
In the meantime, I'm uh, writing another book about uh, other concepts in programming. What is your background? You, you talk about all these uh, algorithms and different uh, ways of coding. Are you a programmer yourself? Yes, sure. Yes, I'm a programmer. And do you also I, have uh, some, some experience with teaching children? Yeah, I can say. But I'm a programmer. I, I've been um, a software engineer for uh, 12, 13 years or so. And I've been working in different companies. I've been freelancing and creating my own projects. And I, always I've been doing, doing something on my own. Even when I had a job, I was uh, doing my own projects. So in software or not, mostly in software, yeah. How do you envision um, in, in an ideal world, how would education be like? First of all, and most important is that education should be accessible to all people, all children. So it shouldn't be expensive or it shouldn't be you shouldn't make efforts to send your children uh, to school. And I think it should be very um, linked to the skills that are needed. So you should learn about what you will really do in school. So you should not learn so much theoretical things and more practical things and a better um, emphasis on a, on a subject than uh, learn everything about everything. <laughs> there are a lot of people that can teach a lot of things and a lot of areas that are not taught in school and maybe maybe useful. And uh, what happens now uh, online that you can um, uh, learn um, through online courses and uh, things like this. I saw, for example, a child that was uh, homeschooling and he was um, having um, <clears throat> discussions um, all day with different uh, people from different areas that were teaching him uh, things that he was really interested in. So, not not the boring things in school, but and it, it should be something that education should make you more curious, not not bored about things. <laughs> it does uh, look ideal the way you're describing it. That was the question. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am really excited to, to see uh, what you're going to do next with the coding story. And uh, we are going to share the link to your website with everyone in this community. And uh, keep us posted with what's next. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. <laughs> Thank you.